Hello Aquarius, welcome to your February reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you this month. Now, as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. For those of you who've watched me before, uh, I'm doing things a little differently. I'm pulling out three star code oracles just to get an overview of what we can expect. And then I will move on to your tarot where I will look at your general energy, love as well as career. Oh, beautiful. Who else got Chiron? Um, I can't remember. Someone got Chiron before you. Vesta. Nice. And we have fourth house. Someone else also got fourth house, but I can't remember who. All right, beautiful. What I'm getting is um, Aquarius with the Vesta card. Vesta is that energy of having your own fire, helping others light their fire, but making sure you don't extinguish yourself. It's that energy of helping other people without taxing yourself. So ask yourself, where is it that you may be overextending your energy? Where is it that maybe you're feeling exhausted? There could be certain connections, certain people who leave you drained out. Now is a great time to remove them from your energy. Uh, especially now that the nodes have shifted from Gemini and Sagittarius into Scorpio and Taurus. It's a slightly heavier energy in terms of it's not really heavy as much as it is deep. It's a very deep energy and I feel like shallowness and shallow connections uh, are going to be eradicated from the collective. There's going to be more of uh, this, this intention of solidifying and deepening bonds, whether they're romantic or platonic. With Chiron, um, it talks about healing. And Chiron has been in Aries for a while now. I'm not exactly sure where it is right now. But Chiron is the wounded healer. Again, it's, 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 it's a slightly similar energy if you think about it. Now, Chiron was a centaur. Uh, if you think about the mythology and Chiron was very very badly injured by Hercules. Chiron used to train people like Hercules, I mean gods like Hercules and when he was unintentionally injured by Hercules he had no other option but to retire. When he did retire though he began healing people. He even opened sort of like a medical school and a medical center, whatever the equivalent of that would be in, in ancient Greek times. Um, so I feel like there could be something that you have been through recently that has made you wiser, it's made you stronger, and it's given you the resources to help other people who may have gone through something similar as you. So ask yourself what that is, but being a wounded healer is a privilege. Fine, there is a murky past, there is a dark past, but I feel like it's uh, regardless of what you went through, I feel like it has equipped you with the knowledge to help others. So that fact should be celebrated. Now with the fourth house, which represents your home, it is uh, the energy of cancer. It is a very nurturing energy, nurturing yourself, nurturing your home environment and nurturing your family, the people you live with and receiving that care in return. You may be spending more time at home than usual. You may be homesick if you're not home. I do feel that your home life is on the forefront of your mind right now. We'll see what this could be regarding. All right, I'm gonna pull out a monology for your general energy. That's way too many. This, it's a new deck, so it is so ridiculously moody. Sometimes it just wants to scream and sometimes it's just super quiet. All right. Last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. Oh, didn't I say Chiron is in Aries? There's an Aries card right under it. So maybe I'm right. Um, all right, let's get you some tarot atop this. The Empress, beautiful. I think we have two already. Oh, Queen of Wands and Strength. Lovely energy, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now I'm trying to stop myself from pulling too many cards and clarifiers because that just muddles the reading. So I'm training myself to be as accurate as possible with as few cards as I can pull. So bear with me. Work through your feelings <clears throat> and the strength card right on top of that. I do feel like you are not fully expressing yourself, whether it is to the people you love or even to yourself. And I feel like that is incredibly hard right now because the strength card can talk about holding back a little bit out of fear. But with the queen of wands, there's a lot of passion here, a lot of passion and creativity. And the empress, I mean, literally, she holds the entire universe in her belly. So there is a lot within you that is just aching to reveal itself, I feel. And a few of you may be just holding back. I think it is a good time to open yourself up a little bit, Aquarius, which I know makes you vulnerable. It's one of the most difficult things anyone has to do, especially if you've been hurt which I do feel like you have been with Chiron showing up right here. And I do feel like you opening up may have led to you your energy just being sapped and you just feeling completely drained out. But listen, every experience that you have is not going to end up in heartache. Okay, I'm almost if this is related to your relationships, I'm almost getting the feeling that you have to kiss a million frogs to finally find a prince. I don't condone fairy tales because I feel like they're incredibly ridiculous and, um, you know, make us have, have really high standards. But I got it in my head, so I thought I should tell you. I do feel, Aquarius, that you need to be a little more vulnerable, at least with yourself. Okay, be truthful and honest with yourself about what it is that you are feeling. Because only once you realize your feelings and you work through your feelings is when they can come to the surface for you to heal. Heal, Chiron. You know what I mean? So let's see. <clears throat> let's look at career first. We have two. We have two cancer cards. Nice. You may have cancer heavily in your chart because we have cancer here also with the fourth house. Push through any insecurity. And we have new moon in cancer. Relax. You're the third sign that's got this card. And I feel like it's absolutely wonderful because, you know, we've just been overworking ourselves. And one of the main reasons for that is <clears throat> Mars has entered Capricorn. So, and Capricorn represents our career, it represents our public image and our work life. And Mars is that fiery energy. It's an energy of wanting to go, 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 you know, and not being able to take a break. But let's see what we have here for you. <sighs> wow. All right. We have four cards. I will take them. Page of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, it's called the Hanged Muse in this deck, Eight of Cups and Temperance. I see, I see, I see. What I see here, Aquarius, is you are literally taking this advice without me even telling you. There is something that you have walked away from. Now, the Eight of Cups in the original Rider Waite as well is the only card that has an eclipse on it. And eclipses represent uncertainty, fear. Uh, I feel that something was bringing about a sense of insecurity to you. Push through any insecurities. And I feel like you are consciously walking away from that energy. I don't necessarily see you walking away from a particular line of work. I see you walking away from the energy of it, of being in that mentality of lack that, okay, I'm not good enough. Because why I say that, you see yourself as the page of pentacles. You see yourself as a beginner, as a student, someone who has a lot to learn. And you're not ashamed of it. You're welcoming that energy. You're welcoming the spirit of, no, I'm not saying being an intern, some of you may be interning uh, or maybe under training, but a lot of you are just in that energy of, I don't know everything and that's okay because I'm here to learn. 
that's the feeling i'm getting and what the, the connection i'm also making here is with the temperance card temperance is a card of sagittarius and i know this is a long shot but sagittarius is ruled by jupiter Jupiter talks about that growth, the learning, the expansion, the higher learning, the travel. Some of you could be traveling to undergo training. Some of you may be um, traveling to start something new. And I feel like whatever this is, it's going to expand your cerebral power. You know, it's just going to make you smarter and it's going to make you more confident. It's going to help you push through those insecurities. And I don't feel like you're in that chaotic energy about it you're very calm about it you're like okay well that's what it is and that's what i'm going to do with the hanged man i don't see this as an energy of complacency by any means i see this as an energy of you looking at the bigger picture you shifting your perspective in order to see both sides of the coin so if it's almost like the feeling I'm getting, I have said this to another sign, when you're too close up against the obstacle, it's hard for you to say, see the way around the obstacle. But once you step back a little bit, you can see the two directions you can go in. You know what I mean? That's what I'm getting from this. It's like you're getting a bird eye view <clears throat> of, of your work life and you're making adjustments accordingly. And that's commendable, that's very mature. And with the temperance card, you're being very patient about it. Like I said, you're not in that, I need to rush, I need to make this happen right now. You know it's a journey, you know. And you're willing to take as, as long as it takes, as long as you reach that particular goal and you can flourish once you get there. I like this. I also feel that some of you may actually need a break. Some of you actually may need to travel, kick up your heels. So I was guided to tell you that. Next, let's move on to love. <laughs> Capricorn got this right before you. Go wild. Full moon in Leo. Not Capricorn. Who got it? Uh, Sagittarius got it. I'm sorry. All right, let's see. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Death card. Hmm. Something has come to an end. <clears throat> you know what I'm getting? Okay, I didn't mean to laugh, I'm sorry. Um, it's just a very, very interesting energy, Aquarius. Okay. Something came to an end in your relationships. And this was probably a breakup or it was a realization that something isn't going to come together after all. I'm not laughing at your pain. I know this can be incredibly painful. What I'm laughing at is what comes next. Once you are free, okay, look at this illustration. Look at how free she looks. She's happy. She's abundant. She's beautiful. She's almost wild. She's carefree. There's nothing holding her back. Go wild. Once you are untethered from whatever this connection was, and once you are single and abundant and happy, wild and free, is when someone, I don't know if it's the same person or it's someone brand new, I feel like there will be eyes on you. The page of swords is the card of almost an investigator. Somebody and since tarot has been modernized with time, it has become the card of the stalker. I feel like someone has, uh, you've got someone's eye. I don't know who this is. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could also be a Scorpio or a Leo or I mentioned every single sign or it could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But <clears throat> someone is watching you, not in a creepy way, don't get freaked out. Uh, but you're very, very attractive at this time to someone. I'm going to pull one more card. 
let's see if we can get any more information about who this is oh fire sign okay it could be every single sign so i'm not going to mention it only but the knight of wands is someone who is incredibly passionate creative full of energy um, i'm getting leo twice so i thought i should mention that um <clears throat> but someone is very very attracted to you especially once you cut out whatever this was from your life once you're untethered like i said and they are coming in very very passionately i would look forward to february if i were you aquarius uh keep fire in mind aries leo sagittarius um i feel like this is going to be the passion oh you know what i just oh hang on a minute hang on a minute didn't i say open yourself up we have leo here as well and we have you as the queen of wands the queen of wands is the most attractive queen it makes sense that you are being very very attractive to somebody the knight of wands coming to pursue the queen of wands i'm getting fire energy i'm getting a lot of fire energy so there you have it whatever this ending was no matter how painful it's been for you aquarius i'm not going to disregard your pain but with the empress card you're looking good with the queen of wands you're looking good just put yourself out there open yourself up there's a lot of love in the world a lot of love that you can receive all right and give all right lovely reading have a wonderful february february aquarius i will see you next time bye bye